outside the Javits Center for the No Apartheid for Israel Amazon rally. You know, you have a lot of people here. Um, it's going to start 1230. It's here a little, a little early, you know what I mean? So let's see what they got here, you know. So, Javits Center, outside for the AWS event, AWS Summit, hosted by Amazon. But outside right now, there's going to be a protest about tech workers being to unite against Arpertile and um, Amazon stop to pass out um, power mass surveillance. So you see inside, I mean, I know I can't go inside because they're real strict. I think they know I'm with them now. They got a lot of security, a lot of baggage pickup. You got mad guards here. You got off-duty retired cops here. You know, they trying to do their job, not trying to get in their, get in their face. So you see they got um, the scanners here. Video surveillance. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do your job. I know you do your job. Not yet. Yeah. So, building surveillance. It's a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Let me get out because I don't want to be disrespectful. You know what I mean? I'm here to cover the event. I'm not here to, to cause trouble. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be, be beef with people and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's my thing. So, you have um, Raphael Shumatov here. He's doing his thing. You know? A lot of people. You go, you go. So, you have here. So it starts 12.30, you know what I'm saying? It's 12.30. So, let's see here. Hey, what's up? How you doing? My name is Chris, by the way. Nice to meet you. So you're part of AWL? Uh, I'll go or Amazon? Oh, cool. Amazon. All right, cool. Thanks for doing this, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, so, let me, uh, thank you. So, yeah, you have a lot of tech workers from uh, Amazon. They protested in Israel, you know? America, we had a right to. So I found my surveillance. Yep. So thank you. Every right to protest. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it looks in here. You know what I mean? It's real hot. It's hot out here, but you know, it's good for good cause, you know? I'm live tweeting and live Facebooking. So you see here, I'm live tweeting, live Facebooking right now. So you see, you have Amazon tech workers here. You know, they're here to organize, they're here to do their thing. Jab center down here.
Yeah, and I slouch too. <laughs> So in my personal capacity, I see in my personal capacity, and uh, you know, it's a lot of people. It's not a lot, but it's a good amount, you know. So a lot of people here. A lot, a lot of people here. No press pass. A lot of people here. go live because like show y'all like anything happens we're live you know I mean not not recorded not pre-taped it's live you know what I mean I got a little early change of crazy uh, over on I believe over there on the 10th Avenue side there was like a um, a crane fell so that's sad uh, hope everybody's okay over there you know five five got hurt uh, over there but you know it's sad you know I mean it's crazy Flyers, you know, it's America. Keep right, the, keep right, the, express that freedom of speech. You know, I mean, much as people here might not like it, but it's freedom of speech, right? Freedom of speech. So we're on the public street, so they might start, they might try to talk, fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Because we're on the public street, saying stuff they don't want to hear. But you know, it's whatever. You know what I mean, it's whatever. It's America, we're the freest country in the world. Everybody say this. And most people might not like it, but people might not like it at all. But people have right to say what they have to say. Unlike other places where you can get locked up for saying stuff like that, right? You can say you can get locked up for saying stuff like that. So this is what it is. I'm in my personal capacity, so. So this is what it is right here. That's how it looks. Okay. Number the AOU. Hey, sir. I serve like a flyer. I serve like a flyer. Someone back over there.
Tell me what's up, what's up, man? You do their job, man. You do their job. Man, it's hot. The way we'll be out here. They gotta be out here, make sure we don't do anything crazy. But these people, they ain't gonna do anything crazy. They're gonna protest. It's America. What's up, what's up, man? Yeah, I think I think one supervisor right here. Make sure we don't probably go inside doing no wild shit, but I don't think they're doing no wild shit. That's a fact. I doubt it. My doubts is like low. So don't expect anything, guys. These people ain't going to They just hit a protest, which is a right to protest. Make sure I pick that up. And a right to protest and stuff, and that's what it is. But I got to see what we, you got to see what we could. Man, we gotta see if we can protest because like we about the entrance, you see right here entrance and they they be fucking people when we about the entrance. So even like it's not even open. It's a terrible energy, right? They still stop fucking with about the energy and shit. So you see there's a lot of CDI digital. They uh they pay for those trucks to go up and down, drive around the center because eventually people try to promote their products here too. Remember, AWS is like Basically, they do like, uh, I think, like soft storage and stuff like that. And Amazon has a storage, and they do a storage and tech stuff. So they, a lot of people use their servers. A lot of tech companies use their servers, like like Google and Apple, right, and Microsoft, and IBM and CDW. You know what I'm saying? So people use their stuff like it's like it's, uh, tech is big in New York City. It's big in New York State. So you got to remember that. I've been to a few tech rallies myself. I've been tech tech events myself, and there's a lot of money in that stuff. Um, it's a lot of money, and if you have a lot of money, it's good to invest in tech. You know what I mean? That's my that's my advice. It's good to invest in tech when if you if you're in New York, it's a good investment because you get a good return. But it starts doing come like this, but you know they shouldn't be profiting out of this stuff. I mean that's my that's my that's my thing. So here live, you know, see people hand out flyers and stuff. Empower Change promoted the event, and they tagged the DSA, they tagged a lot of organizations, but I checked the likes, they didn't even like it. Street, so okay. all right, thank you. All right, so you see, yeah, it's a public street. It's street. So, you see, yeah, yeah, it's my that supports Israel, you know. Yeah, I have a it's a public street. If it's inside, it's down there. It's public street. Uh, Nothing you can do. It's public street. I don't get. I got enough footage anybody put on Twitter. So I'm putting it on right now. This is Jassy, I have him in the vibe. I mean. That's why we go live because. Go live for stuff like this. I usually don't go live for stuff like this, but I have to go live because, like, just in case something happens, it's live stream. And the thing is, it's going to be safe. 
So there's an exit over there is an entrance. So when they do the rally, you know, we gotta see what we're gonna do this at. They must start fucking with us. Shout out to Linda Star Show, by the way. Shout out to Linda. Do you know about the cloud contract there with the idea? So there's a lot of people. But the only thing is just being here, it got, a, it got some nice high power AC. So that's the good thing. Other than that, we're gonna be out in the hot sun. So, people here, peace be handle our flyers, man. America, the right to do this stuff. Much of people might not like the stuff, but we had the right to hand the stuff out, you know? Making sure they, they don't get in no trouble, that's why we live. I mean, we got mass security, mad cops, mad retired cops. I, I think these guys here don't really want to be out here, but they have to because we're out here, right? They don't. They want to be inside. I know. I used to do security for ten years. I want to be inside too. But anytime the protests and there's an event, you got to put a guard outside. So it's nothing. It's nothing like crazy. It's just what it is. Anytime there's a rally, you got to pull a guard out. You got to police a guard outside. But play like they play like supervisors. But most of the guys you hear the retired cops, retired NYPD, and like. FBI and state police and, and stuff like that. So they've been doing that for 20 years or 25 years or 30 years, 22 years. I mean, so they don't care. They can't pay a lot of money to do this stuff. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. All power to the people. We got a free Palestine, right, y'all? Rocker Shimatov here. Jews with Economic Original Justice. So they closing the door. I think they're going to keep on doing it, man. It's like the people. Crazy, right? Got a good amount of people here. Like I said, they, I saw the tags. They tagged DSA. They tagged everybody. NYPD here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Doing good, man. I think it's legal here. You got legal. Hey, what's up? You got community affairs here. You got legal. Legal community affairs. Hey, he, he be at all the rallies, man. This guy be at all the rallies. He be, they be at all the rallies, man. So they know, they know who these people are, man. Say, it's not, I don't think they're doing that crazy. It's going to rally, say we need to stop Israel, and that's it. Move that long, right? What's up, man? So like I said, yeah, Harry right the rally. Every right to rallies, America. ALU's here. J J Red, Che Fred, JBP, Al Alda. You know, it's a lot. Of Empower Change, the dude right there in the, in the gray. It's a pep Empower Change. So, you know, go live. Hope they won't delete the live because what I'm, what, what's, what's the rally about? I know they be, they be playing that game, like trying to get rid of, shut down content. That talk about the stuff, you know, it's America. But you know what it is, not my platform. So, we're here live. ALU is here. Shout out to ALU, Chris Smalls. Shout out to Chris Smalls. Chris Smalls gets it in, he started from the bus stop. And now they're here. You know, they're in the top. But they, we here right now at Amazon, Jabba Center. Shout out to Jabba Center. Oh, this is a bit, by the way. We got exit only. Exit only. Entrance on the other side. Yeah, the 
a media guy here. So this is going to be not bad at all. Three minutes, twelve thirty, and it's going to post officially start. But start a little early because we'll see what's going on. In this case, people like to lie. Oh, we're doing this through now. I got it on video. I got a lot. No lie, but I'm lying. So yeah, people's form here. People's form. They here. Your, your sign is like upside down. Like you put it, it's like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, it's like upside down, like you got, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, don't got nine, you good.
got somebody arguing, like got somebody support Israel, arguing with these people here. You know I mean, this is my advice, right? It's America. People like to protest, people like to rally and stuff like that. Like, yeah, people like to carry this, carry that, carry that, carry that. Right? But this is my advice to anybody out here, man. Don't don't engage. Because you're not gonna win. It's America, they right to say what they gotta say. So just just don't just don't engage. I mean, just, just mind your business. You know what I'm saying? You won't like it, just move on. I mean, just go somewhere else. Leave your leave your location and then go to position, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's amazing. Uh, I, I mean, I know it's so it's just and then it I did it before, to but uh, yeah, I mean, I can't. Oh, you're yeah. Oh, there's sir, okay. A W. Good to see you. So that's my advice, please, because it, it's, it's not, it's too hot. Access. It's too hot to be fighting out here, man. Like, I don't care the argument. It's just too hot to be fighting, man, because it's not worth it. It's stupid. Still be fighting for what? I don't Aldo's here.
You want to turn it up? Got it. It's up. Let's check, check, check. Hey, the revolution has rhythm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to kick this off. Um, if folks have any issues hearing me, just make a little hand motion to make sure we can be as audible as possible for folks. And let's get started. So welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming out today in support of Amazon workers standing up for Palestinian human rights and for being here to stand up. My name is Danny and I'm a national field organizer. Thank you. And I'm a national field organizer with Media Justice. I'm happy to be here joining y'all from Virginia today because we recognize that the campaigns that we work on together, right, are not are not just by neighborhood, right, are not by city, are not by state, but these are global fights that we are all a part of. So today is historic. Just to convey the message to folks, they're trying to silence us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. From what I know, we all have a right to speak up. Yeah. 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 We will speak. That's what I heard. That's what I heard growing up in this country. Supposedly, we have a right to free speech. Yes or no? Yeah. Right? But what we've also learned over time is that dudes like that actually try to shut us up all the time to defend corporations like Amazon, right? So I'm just gonna share briefly right now that today is historic because this is the first time that Amazon tech workers are demonstrating at an Amazon event against their company's contract with Israeli apartheid. This is the first time that we're joining together with tech workers and warehouse workers who are all organizing to ensure communities can live in safety. From Amazon warehouse workers laboring under the watchful eye of the company's oppressive work quotas, to Palestinians facing surveillance at Amazon power checkpoint on the way to work. So, a couple of quick announcements, just housekeeping announcements as y'all see. There are some haters around here trying to bother us. We do have a police liaison. Homie right here, Ryan. So if anybody comes up and you need some support, just hit up Ryan. We also have, uh, if a reporter comes by or anything like that, we have a press liaison. Jane's right here. So Jane can come up with that. And then we also know that there are a lot of people here who are active already in organizing, but some of y'all might want to learn about what's going on, right? And so you can hit up Dave. Over there. Right there. Shamir. Now, or then, and they can share more about what's going on, why we're out here, and what you can do to join this fight. And so we're here because nearly two years ago, while the Israeli military bombed Gaza, killing hundreds, Amazon and Google executives signed the one billion dollar Project Nimbus cloud contract with the Israeli military government. Oh. They knew that this contract would provide services to every part of the Israeli apartheid government and parts of the military powering everything from the agencies that expand segregated settlements that force Palestinian families out of their homes. We're here because nearly two years ago, a small group of Palestinian, Muslim, Arab, and anti-Zionist Jew, Jewish, and other allied Amazon and Google tech workers in their shared grief and rage came together and started organizing because they decided that they did not want to build market, sell, or in any way have their labor contribute to Israeli apartheid. Okay. I'm gonna transition off of the mic because we're not gonna try to deal with extra nonsense that they're gonna try to force on us, all right? Got a megaphone?
all hear me? Yeah! We will not be silent. Woo! So since people started organizing, right, hundreds of Amazon and Google tech workers have signed on to the campaign, pushing for no tech for apartheid, have led teachings to educate their co-workers, and even rallied along with hundreds of community supporters across the country. Last September, in the first direct action of its kind involving tech workers from two of the biggest tech companies in the world. As the Israeli apartheid, no, as the Israeli apartheid government and military collaborating with Israeli settlers is escalating violence against Palestinians right now, such as the attack we just saw in Jenin and the Jenin refugee camp, where the Israeli military killed at least 11 Palestinians and 4,000 Palestinian refugees had to flee for their lives. We are standing with workers who say, no tech for apartheid, and we will continue, continue to do so until Amazon and Google cut this contract. Woo! What do we say? No tech for apartheid! 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 All right, friends. I think we're now going to hear from our first speaker. Um, and I, we know that this action, we're all out here right now, right? Showing the public what, what this is about. But folks inside had to hear it too, right? Yeah. Folks inside needed to make sure that these demands are being directly delivered to the executives who are responsible for this violence and enabling tech weapons. And so I want to first off appreciate the folks who took direct action inside because it's not easy right it's not easy we know we're doing the right thing but there are a ton of people who are hating on us as we have seen even just out here firing so imagine what it's like to be inside delivering these demands so thank you all for taking this action and so i want to introduce first sumaya awad who is a palestinian Oh, my bad. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Disruptors first. So who's, who's first? <laughs> who's my first? Who's the, who's the first speaker? Y'all here? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank y'all so much for being here. I was part of a team that interrupted the keynote address of the Vice President of AWS. And it was exhilarating. And I'll tell you what, for every boo that I heard, I saw twice as many people look at me and nod. For every flyer that I handed out after I got out of that room, I got three times as many nods. We are winning the war of public image. People are now hearing what's going on in Palestine. They're hearing what's going on with the corporate sponsorships. And we delivered that message to a whole room here just to be here for Amazon. I'm now going to turn it over to my other colleagues. Thank y'all. Hi there. Yes, I was, I was the, uh, the last of the five of us disruptors. And, uh, and, you know, and I got to see everybody, everybody shout and, and get booed and all of that. And no one, nobody around me knew that the next person who's going to shout is going to be right next to them. So it was, um, yes, it was. Definitely exhilarating, especially since my voice isn't even that good today, and I just had to go shout through it and say, I don't care if my throat hurts, because the Palestinians need us there, and they need us to destroy their image. And um, and their Swami's entire like intro speech basically was disrupted by by the, by the five of us shouting out. <laughs> I was also one of the disruptors and I just 
just want to add that as an Indian American, a lot of the people in the crowd look like me. They look like my aunties and uncles. And it just reminds me more that we have a commitment towards getting our communities to care, especially when they feel apolitical, because that apoliticalness is silence, and that silence is complicity. So I really hope that um, you know we can bring this back to our communities. And as someone who felt like a lot of people in that space look like me, um, it just reminded me more of bringing more people who are like me into this conversation as well, because we are very much a part of this tech apartheid, Hindutva, Zionism kind of coalition that is here to oppress workers, to oppress Palestinians, to oppress minorities, etc. Hi everyone! Hi. Uh, I was also a disruptor today. I was so grateful to be a part of this movement so that we could tell all of the Amazon executives that there is no business as usual while people are dying. <laughs> myself and also as an Indian American, when I saw Swami Siva Subramanian, the Vice President of AWS up there, I felt like we had to let him know that today and all days, we are going to show our solidarity to the Palestinian people. Amazon, Amazon, you can't hide. Complicity in apartheid. 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 Palestinian-American engineer who works at Amazon Games and who has been organizing alongside other Amazon workers against Project Nimbus. All right, guys, I'm going to try and yell so you can hear me. Um, thanks, everybody. Good afternoon. As uh, our host said, my name is Leith Abad, and I'm a software engineer at Amazon, and I am a first-generation Palestinian-American. As such, I'm here to express my deep concern with the Israeli military and government's contract with Amazon and Google, known as Project Nimbus. This contract provides powerful technology to an army that's been accused of war crimes, and a government that's enforcing a oppressive system of apartheid, a crime against humanity, according to Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, the United Nations, the Israeli human rights organization, B'Tselem, and others. Palestinian families live every day under deeply intrusive surveillance and fear of violence, being forced out of their homes, and even death. More so, the Israeli government continues to build illegal settlements in Palestinian land, ignoring international law and forcibly displacing the Palestinian people who have lived in those lands for generations. My own father was ethnically cleansed from his home in Palestine as well as many other relatives by the very same Israeli government we're protesting today. That's why I'm here, for my family, for my other relatives, and for the millions of other Palestinian families who have been affected. <laughs> this is obviously deeply personal to me, and I know I'm not alone by seeing all your wonderful faces. As an Amazon employee and Amazon customers, we want to ensure that the tech we build and sell and use does not harm our communities and those of our users. People want to see Amazon take responsibility and lead the way on ending tech-driven human rights abuses. Amazon's business model must stop powering oppression, division, and discrimination. This is why Amazon and Google have to cut their contract with the Israeli government. Amazon can still be on the right side of history. They should listen to us, their own workers, Palestinian human rights organizations, the other communities that are being harmed by Amazon technology. That's why we've been organizing for over two years now with our fellow workers at Google and how we will continue to come together and demand no tech for apartheid until all Palestinians can live in freedom and have their basic human rights.
another one, free, free Palestine. Free. And then the response, no more tech for Israel's crimes. All right? Yeah. Free, free Palestine. No more tech for Israel's crimes. Free, free Palestine. No more tech. like Amazon and Google that are enabling government racist agendas right across the globe and a lot of this work that we're doing is across issues it's the same thing right it's the same players across communities same and throughout the program we're gonna hear from different speakers who are gonna talk to this including uh, right now, Sumaya Awad, a Palestinian organizer and director of strategy for the Adala Justice Project. And she's also a member of NYC PSA. Palestinians. 
and pledging to investigate their union's funds in anything related to apartheid Israel. This week, we have Amazon and Google workers here and other tech workers rallying after two years, the two years of this campaign, and saying no tech for apartheid. <laughs> we are seeing workers around the country, from UPS to the Actors Guild, to Amazon, to Google, and the list goes on and on and on. They're demonstrating their worker power. They're demonstrating that they deserve higher wages, better benefits, and a say in how their labor is used. They're demonstrating workers' power because we know that workers run the world. They have this power. And that's why this campaign is so inspiring. This is why this campaign and expanding the tech weapons that they are providing to these governments, right? So in Northern Virginia, we had been organizing for a few years around issues affecting our communities, like policing, right? Like ICE. For a while, Virginia has had the biggest ICE prison in the Mid-Atlantic region called Farmville Detention Center. In Arlington County, where I've organized, one of the campaigns that we started was I set up Arlington because one of our friends had a fender bender and he got pulled over by the police and the police asked him for his immigration status and called ICE on him and held him on the street for hours so they came and picked him up. What he told me about though is I don't know what they were doing. He said they pulled me up, they took pictures of me on the street, they ran him through some database in their car and then they said we're gonna call ICE on you. Despite the fact that he had an ID, his driver's license from his home country, right? Despite the fact that he wasn't even at fault of anything in the situation. But that's the system of criminalization, of tracking people, of data extraction, and then using that and weaponizing, or, uh, weaponizing it against our people. This same neighborhood where this happened is also where hundreds of families 
have been being pushed out already in the past few years since Amazon started building there. We've seen families see rents go up hundreds of dollars a year. We saw 80 families lose their homes in a matter of a month so that the property owners can flip it and then charge those apartments that used to cost $1,200, now they're $900,000 townhomes. Almost a million dollars to be able to buy a house there. People who live there can no longer afford it, right? Also, Virginia is unfortunately the host of all of the things that Amazon's trying to build through its data centers, right? There's a huge concentration of data centers in Virginia. And so we know that whenever there's police that they have technology given to them by Amazon, it's being hosted in those data centers. Whenever technology is given to the Israeli government for apartheid, it's being hosted in those data centers. It's Amazon Web Services that is killing people. And on top of all of this, it's government as well that is literally subsidizing these corporations, literally taking our public funds and giving them to these companies so that they can go and keep killing people, keep displacing communities, keep harming us, right? Displacement, and I bring all of this up just because it's, like I'm saying, it's all connected, right? Amazon is displacing our people over there in Northern Virginia. Amazon is displacing people in Palestine, point blank, right? That's what's happening. The fight against Amazon truly is a fight for life, right? Where it's a fight for housing justice. It's a fight for safety, true safety, right? Safety from state violence. Safety from being washed all the time. It also is making sure that we can have communities together, families together. And that's impossible when we have a prison industrial complex. That's impossible when we have mass surveillance and criminalization. And that's impossible when our people are being pushed out of their homes. Safety is impossible and though it is impossible under those conditions. And so again, we are organizing because we are seeking life. <laughs> we want people to live and thrive. And the reality is that politicians who are supporting these corporations are in the way of that vision that these corporations are actively fighting against our vision of life and collective liberation. And so I just want to help do my part and I invite all of you to also contribute however we can. I appreciate everybody being here, but this shit is tiring, right? Yes, sir. This shit is tiring. Emotionally. Yeah. These people have endless resources. Literally, I 24 seven, they can be fucking us all the time in so many different ways. And but we need to truly like build, organize, and have each other's back. And from there, I believe that we can win. Virginia is the fight for justice for Kushan Brown. I know the friends from ALU are here. They're union. They actually named their union hall after Kushan. She was a worker in a spring in, in Springfield, Virginia at a warehouse, and she got assigned to do COVID testing with other workers at that job site. And she died suddenly in her sleep. Amazon never responded, never supported, never did anything. But if we think about it, right, this was in the pandemic. This is Amazon with endless money, and they had other workers testing other workers without any PPE, without any medical training, without any real support. And then somebody died, and they still didn't care, right? Workers have been dying in their warehouses a lot, unfortunately. And so for them, it's about the money, right? We saw the pandemic, they kept making money while our people suffered and died. And I wanna now shout out 
ALU. something that started with just simple keeping trying to police workers you know and it's been elevated to a new level when I when I was terminated I first found out about the profiling system that Jeff was making it also includes whether you want to believe it or not a lot of the employees that used to work for him so when you get terminated don't think that your uh, information is going in the garbage it's going into the profile system which he you know I'm sorry to say I had no idea until last week that Google had anything to do with this, but I've been talking about this since I've been fired, and I think people kind of levitated more to my termination than when I was actually telling these reports they have a profile system, they have a profile system, and lo and behold today, here we are, and they're trying to oppress the Palestinian people with this same bullshit. You know, they want to sell it then, they're going to try to sell it to other world governments too. So don't think it stops here with the Palestinians, it's going any place else, right. you know, because that was the main, and I talked about this, but I'm going to pass off, and I'm just going to say, you know, power to the Palestinian people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fight up, because, you know, when we fight, we win. <laughs> Hello, everyone, my name is Jordan Flowers, and I would like to say that the 100... And uh, the $1.22 billion that they're funding to the Israeli government is a shame that they should invest back to their workers, get these raises because uh, inflation is going up, rent's going up, and a lot of workers now are fearing for their jobs the same way Palestinians are fearing to live in their homes right now. I stand here today in solidarity that workers are feared, are feared to lose their jobs, uh, to fight back, fight back for the work, sorry, fight back for the workers who are losing their jobs. I'm here to stand in solidarity with the Palestinians who are afraid to lose their homes. They shouldn't have to have that fear to lose their homes. And that these companies should be held accountable on criminal charges that these these are sorry. <laughs> that they should have nothing to do with the Israeli government and that they should be held accountable for all charges against them and workers and such as us who have to fight every day for workers' safety, rights, and such as Prusan, her daughter. Who, who is motherless now and was only offered six weeks counseling and wasn't paid for a funeral for her. She is a, she is a single book, she's by herself, no father, no mother, and Amazon only offered six weeks counseling. Yeah, that's what they get so, This is why we are here today, to fight back, and everyone should have, have their chance to say that Amazon needs to be held accountable, Google needs to be held accountable, and the Israeli government should be held accountable for all charges that's and right. crimes. <laughs>
adults today, but our children and grandchildren will enjoy a free and liberated Palestine that is a democracy for all people where everyone feels respected and loved. You all said everything you need to say about this man right here. There's no reason for any billionaire, including Jeff Bezos, to exist in a nation where we have people who cannot even pay their rent and feed their children. That should exist, and Jeff Bezos is one of them. But if you are going to be a billionaire, the least that you can do is treat your workers with dignity and respect. Yeah. Pay your workers not only a living wage, but a wage where they can thrive. The reason why you're a billionaire is because of the work that your workers do every single day right. to serve right. the American people and to serve people all over the world. So that's the least that we can do and the least that he can do. Our job and our responsibility is to hold corporations like Google and Amazon accountable and that is what you all have been doing, continue to do, and I will always be a soldier in the army to hold tech companies accountable for their complicity in violence against marginalized people here and abroad. and six 
successful without supporting apartheid and ethnic cleansing, without raising serious ethical concerns for the company and its workers. That's right. Success is possible without being straight up evil. That's right. So that's why we say no tech for apartheid. I want to make it clear that Googlers do not support military contracts. We do not support corporate greed over the ethical concerns of workers. We do not support greed over good. Google and Amazon need to do the right thing and cancel yeah. the contract. <laughs>
I'm gonna log off right now. Yeah.